वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व वीडियो नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एग्जांपल्स ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री it is there in our textbook on page number 436 let us see okay as i am telling you continuously the analysis of uh, that numericals is very important okay so keep it in mind and let us focus how to write what to write in analysis okay so 12 point 12.1 and 12.2 are word problems so you can solve easily uh, by taking help of our textbook okay now let us see what is the absorbent wavelength present in the pastel series uh, of spectral lines what is given shortest wavelength means shortest wavelength we will say as it is given pastel series so if it is a pastel series then we uh, know that lai ba pa break fast Lemon bracket lai ba pa pastel pastel means three so in pastel series one upon lambda is equal to r one upon here lai ba pa so here it is three square minus one upon n square and n will be starting from three. And we will study from four, five, six, and so on up to infinite. Okay. If it is given instead of shortest, if it is a largest wavelength, then at that time you have to take n is equal to four. It is the first largest wavelength. Okay. For our understanding, if there is a change. What is the change if there is first largest wavelength? At that time, you have to take n is equal to four. If it is asked second largest wavelength, then you have to take n value five. Got it? So there will be a change in question if it is asked in any exam uh, instead of shortest wavelength if it is first largest you have to take n is equal to 4 if it is second largest you have to take n is equal to 5 but here shortest wavelength is given so you have to take n value in finite means last value of n you have to take why because it is asked shortest wavelength okay so this is keep it in mind now what to do nothing simple you have to put the value of n here so we are getting 1 upon lambda is equal to r what is r r is nothing but Rydberg's constant and it is 1.097 multiplied by 10 raised to 7 meter inverse okay put the value of n infinite here so rest of the things as it is 1 upon 3 square that is 9 minus 1 upon infinite square and we know that 1 upon infinite its value is 0 so you are having 1 upon lambda is equal to r by 9 got it value 0 r by 9 
what is our shortest wavelength? So lambda is equal to 9 by r. 9 as it is r. What is the value of r? It is here. So it is 1.097 multiplied by 10 is to 7. Okay? So do the calculation. 9 divided by 1.097. The value will be. Point twenty multiplied by ten is to minus seven. So take on this side. So eight point twenty multiplied by ten is to minus nine meter. Okay, minus nine meter is nothing but eight twenty nanometer. So this is the answer. Simple. Okay, shortest wavelength and will be infinite. First largest wavelength, if it is asked, then n value 4. For second largest, n value 5, and so on. Let us see for a few seconds. Okay, now let us see exercise example number 12.4. Is it okay? What is there in 12.4? Analysis is important. Let us see. Okay, 10 is to 15. 
take one point on this side. So you will get 5.554 multiplied by 10 raised to 14 hertz, etc. Isn't it? It is very easy. Just one equation E is equal to HF, make a subject F. Here you have to keep in mind value of E is given in electron volt. So you have to convert into joule and simple small equation, small radius. Have a look. Is it? Now, let us see. 12.5 I think you might have textbook in your hand, okay? So, do the analysis properly. 12.5 The ground state energy of hydrogen atom is minus 13.6 electron volt means ground state n value 1 we have obtained equation E is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square electron volt where n value is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on it gives what it gives? it gives the number of orbit if n is equal to 1 it means electron is present in a ground state. If you will put n is equal to 1, it will be minus 13.6, which is given in our question. Okay? So, energy is given that is minus 13.6 electron volt. Okay? What to find? Uh, what is the kinetic and potential energy of the electron in this state? Means you have to find the kinetic energy okay then we have equation kinetic energy that is k is equal to minus minus e is equal to minus that is minus 13.6 electron volt so it is plus 13.6 electron Got it? From where this equation come? We have seen earlier, minus sign indicates electrons are bound in that orbit. But if we give plus 13.6, that electron will move from n is equal to 1 to infinite. So, this is the kinetic energy. Okay? Now, potential energy, that is U is equal to minus 2 k that is minus 2 value of k that is 13.6 electron volt simple calculation you will get minus 27.6 to the 12 2 electron volt so this is your answer so this type of question also can be asked as a two mark question. Let us see. Okay, now twelve point six. See very small equations we are using. Okay? What is there in 12.6? Let us see. Uh, again, a hydrogen atom initially in the ground level. Ground level means n is equal to 1 in that equation that we have seen earlier. In last example, that means if it is a ground state means n is equal to 1 so 
you will have value of e1 is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 1 square is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt okay steam question is remember okay uh, absorb a photon means energy uh, which excite it to n is equal to 4 level so n is equal to 4 so it is nothing but excited state put n is equal to 4 in our equation that is e4 is equal to minus 13.6 4 square is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 16 is equal to the answer will be 0 0.85 0 0.85 electron volt okay so electron may transition from low energy level to high energy level so what is the energy difference that also we have to find so energy difference that is delta E is equal to E 4 minus E1 high energy level minus low energy levels energy is equal to minus minus 0 0.85 minus again minus 13.6 is equal to minus 0 0.85 plus 13.6 is equal to do the calculation you will get the value uh, which value that is 12.75 12.75 electron volt. Now what to find? Still it is remaining. So what to find? Determine the wavelength and frequency. So what to find? Frequency as well as wavelength. So first we are going to find frequency. Just now we have seen F is equal to E is equal to HF, right? There was an equation E is equal to HF. Make a subject F, so you will get E by H. Instead of E, you have to take delta E, right? Delta E is here, e is equal to 12.75 E value of e 1.6 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 90 so what we have done electron volt now it is converted into joule okay divided by h what is the value of h 6.65625 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 34 take minus 34 outside take the calculator do the calculation you will get uh, 3.079 you will get 3.079 multiplied by 10 raised to 15 hertz xz right so this is about frequency one more thing we have to find it is second wavelength lambda right what is lambda? Lambda is the wavelength. And what is that equation? Okay, so lambda is equal to C by F. Again, this equation is there in chapter number 11. Okay, what is the value of C? C is the thing but velocity of light in vacuum. So, its velocity is 3 multiplied by 10 raised to 8 upon 3.079 multiplied by 10 is to 15. Take it upside, do the calculation. We are getting 0 0.9686. 0 0.9686 multiplied by 10 is to minus 15 plus 8 minus 6. 
Stay one. Take two point on this side. You will get ninety six point eighty six multiplied by ten is to minus nine meter. So it is ninety six point eighty six nano meter. Got it? So this is the value. Have a see. Have a look for few seconds. Okay, simple equations f is equal to delta e by h and lambda v length is equal to c by f. Now, very small numerical we will see that is a twelve point ten, and remaining that is eight, nine, and seven. They are the long numerical that we will see tomorrow. Okay. What is there in twelve point ten? Let us see. See, you have to rewrite this numerical in our regular notebook, and you have to do the perfect calculation. Nothing else. Okay. Now, let us see twelve point ten. What is given? See the analysis. In accordance with the Bohr model, find the quantum number. Quantum number means n. Okay, so we have to find n. N is equal to we have to find what is given. Okay, so uh, quantum number that characteristics uh, the Earth's revolution around the sun. In the orbit of radius, radius is given 1.5 multiplied by 10 is 2. R is given 1.5 multiplied by 10 is 2. 11 meter. Okay. Then with orbital speed 3 multiplied by 10 is 2. 4. Means v is given three multiplied by ten is to four meter per second. Okay. Mass of the Earth is given. There is m is equal to six multiplied by ten is to twenty four kg. That is m is equal to six multiplied by ten is to twenty four kg. Which equation we will use? Think of that. M is given, V is given, R is given, and you have to find n, right? Here we have to use what to use? Bohr's hypothesis number two. What was there? There was m v r. That is orbital angular momentum is integral multiple of. H upon two pi. Here you have to find n. So n is equal to two pi. Take two pi here. M v r as it is. M v r upon upon h. So this is the value. Put the value. Find the answer. Let us see. N is equal to two pi. That is two multiplied by. 3.14 multiplied by m mass 6.0 that is 6 multiplied by 10 to 24 multiplied by velocity 3 multiplied by 10 to 4 multiplied by r what is r 1.5 multiplied by 10 to 11 divided by h That is six point six two five multiplied by ten is two minus thirty four. So multiply this two multiplied by three point fourteen multiplied by six multiplied by three multiplied by one point five. 
divided by 6.625. So you will get 169.56. 169.56 divided by 6.625 multiplied by 10 is to my uh, plus 24 plus 4 28 plus 11 that is 39 take 34 offside minus when it will go up it will be plus that is 34 do this you will get 25.59 25.59 25.59 multiplied by 10 is to 73. Take one decimal point and find the answer in a standard format that is 2.55 multiplied by 10 is to 74. So this is the answer. Okay. The remaining numerators we will see tomorrow. Have a look. Till then. Goodbye. Have a good day.